People usually prefer to not talk about emotions, which is a contradiction in and of itself. That's because we developed language to enable collaboration. And the only reason collaboration is possible is because of emotions. In a phrase, the biggest obstacle to managing your emotions is emotions themselves. At the top of the list is stigma. The reason for this bias is rooted in the origins of mental unhealth. To understand this skew, we need to go back to the 1800s. Mental health care arose from a need to deal with people who exhibited aberrant behavior. Problem was, we didn't know what to do with them and to a large extent still don't. The solution was to segregate this population and as you can imagine, taking a bunch of people who are not doing well and putting them together with no way to help them, well, that only made the problem worse. The good news is that personal insecurity is the most pervasive negative feeling. Even people who are supposedly doing great question themselves. The goal is to recognize this is a natural and healthy phenomena we all share. More importantly, it's about not getting stuck on it. Engaging in desirable behavior is all about action. So anything that limits that progress is counterproductive. After all, the whole goal of emotions, remember, is they should propel constructive action. Sometimes that action means acknowledging the emotion is invalid and figuring out how to stop its repetition. We need to separate who we are from what we do. Even then, we need to not let some undesirable part overwhelm all the good stuff. You are imperfect. Be okay with that. It doesn't mean you're weak or bad or dumb or broken. It means you're human. And pushing through that obstacle means you'll be an even better one at that. 